there's just something about driving around New England in the summertime. The Victorian architecture, the tree-lined streets, the blue of the sky that melts into the blue of the water, cobblestone boardwalks, paradise. Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing good. We sure are because we're in Newport, Rhode Island today and it, as you can see, no cloud in the sky, such a beautiful day. Um, yeah, we're just walking around the town, gonna have lunch and after that go see the mansions on Ocean Walk. Another lobster roll. Don't judge me. Don't do it. Because <laughs> I'm gonna have another one for dinner. I'm judging you. Paul took a chicken wrap. How boring when you have this as a view. Hey now, little mama, don't you think you ought to love again? Well, once again, you're locked down, but you gotta stand up if you want to love again. Well, once again, hey. Something in every little belonging Before we knew it, we were on our way to Connecticut to visit our friend Madison and two very cute puppies. Hello, hello, hello! We woke up in Connecticut this morning. Today we did a little bit of work in the morning and now we are off to Wilton Farmer's Market because Madison owns a food truck and we're gonna go say hi and then we're gonna just be on our own for the rest of the day until Madison finishes work and we'll hang out together tonight. There she is, a little fire truck, bubble and brew. Check him out on Instagram. <laughs> We are in Westport, Connecticut, and we're just enjoying a little nibble. Walking around town, let me tell you, there's some luxury shops here. They have a Tiffany's, they have a Patagonia, they have, it's basically Fifth Avenue, but in small Connecticut form, which I think is pretty cool. Hey now, little mama, don't you think you ought to love again? Once again, you're locked down, but you gotta stand up if you want to love again. Once again. We finished our shopping at Westport, and now we are in a state park. We're gonna go see that thing, the beach. Woohoo! Once again, you're locked down, but you gotta stand up if you want to love again. Once again, hey now, little mama, don't you think you want to love again? Well, once again, you're locked down, but you gotta stand up if you want to love again. Well, once again.
we made it back, had dinner with Madison, and then the next day we took the train into New York City for a very, very special event. There will be a whole vlog coming out about it next. Hi! <laughs> it's been a while. We're back in Connecticut now. We just spent a lovely few days in New York City doing some really exciting things. So make sure you check out that vlog. Mm -hmm. If it's out, I don't know. I haven't planned which order I'm going to put them in, but it's definitely coming if it's not out yet. So our friend Madison has a another farmer's market, and so we're going to go see her and say hi. Before we knew it, we were on some gorgeous winding roads on our way back home to Canada. But not before a very important pit stop. We made it to Cracker Barrel, the obligatory stop. Every time I used to come to the US as a kid, we'd always eat at Cracker Barrel for lunch. And I'm taking Paul for the She's first time! She's been talking about it for months. Months, <laughs> years even. So here we go. Let's try it. So Paul, scale of 1 to 10, how is your first Cracker Barrel experience? <laughs> I don't know, 8 out of 10 I'd say. Okay. I had some oh, fried yeah. pork, first time for me, tasted yeah. good. I can't say it was the same for me, I got the wrong <laughs> order, they didn't have any root beer left, it was just, ugh, not my day. But my soul still got the fire. 